So I'm going to start this up for you here. This is going to be the new Hovercam Flex software. And when we open it up, you're going to see now it offers a couple options as opposed to the previous version of the software. We can do video in the Flex now. You can scan. That's basically just taking pictures. Uh, you have an option for archiving. They have a great archive feature in the software to help you organize your images. And then there's your connect. You want to share your images, videos, it helps you do that. So uh, got a couple different options we can go with. Uh, and no matter which one you select, it's going to bring you to basically the same screen. You're going to see these four tabs up at the top. There's video, scan, connect, and archive. And when you pull it up, uh, you can select your camera here. This, like this laptop has a built-in webcam. It might just automatically select that. You can just come down to this drop-down menu, change it over. That's the hover cam. Now we have the image from our hover cam. As you can see, there's my hand right there. Uh, this is the video mode. I'm moving the image around a little bit. Did not expect to do that. Uh, we can come up to the side here. We can change our resolution. Right now we're at 1600 by 1200. You can drop down to standard XGA resolution, 1024 by 768. Frame rate goes up a little bit, so this video is a little bit smoother. You can adjust brightness, saturation, and contrast on the side here as well. Uh, now you also have some, some features down on the bottom here. We have our zoom. We can adjust by sliding the little dot or pressing these buttons here. Zoom in and out. The telescoping feature right here, this gives you the equivalent of 2.5x mechanical zoom. Uh, the, the software here gives you 8x digital zoom. Uh, down here you got your buttons. You can do fit to screen, you can do full screen. So there's our full screen video. I'm going to go back. And uh, here is a uh, freeze frame. So if we have, right now it's video, we can freeze a still shot. So over here is a button where you can open up a uh, second camera, you can actually record video in there from either one. Another really cool feature about the video function on here is now you have annotation ability over live video. You hit the annotation button, pulls up this toolbar on the side, and you know, here's your select, that's for your basic mouse control. We have down here freehand drawing. You can select your color, your line thickness. We're going to do red just because it's easy to see red against a gray background. You can change your line thickness. Uh, we'll do a thicker line here. And now with just the click of your mouse, you hold down, you slide around there, and you're drawing lines. And this is live video. So if you ever wanted to annotate something over a live video, you can do it right there. Now you can erase. We've got a transparency feature. So it's going to be able to uh, make the line more solid, more transparent. Um, you want it to be able to see through the line, you could do that, It'd be more of a highlight than anything else. And uh, here's your eraser function. We can just slide it over the line we drew. That erases it. You got a button to erase everything. So that's the uh, video function. I'm just gonna click over to scan real quick. Uh, that's the second tab over to the right. Here we can adjust our resolution again. You can do a higher definition, 1600 by 1200. You can change formats. You have JPEG, PNG, bitmap, GIF, TIFF files, as well as PDF. So you can set it to whatever file you want. You can change your compression, brightness, contrast. You can actually use this tool here to straighten out the image. You can do it in the software so you don't have to mess with the camera constantly if you didn't get it right. And uh, let's put something under here. <coughs> Got this little container full of thumbtacks. Just to show you, it's nice and colorful. So we're going to put that under here, and um, yeah, well, it's where we want it to be. You just hit this red button here with the little camera on it. Just took a snapshot of our uh, thumbtacks. You see it up in the corner of the software here. Now, because I selected PDF, it's saved as a PDF. I come back here. I want to select bitmap. I take another one. And now we have a bitmap of the same image. Now let's say it's a little too far away. I want to zoom in a little bit. You can do the digital zoom. That's going to give you a larger image. Or you can come over here to the camera itself. You pop the little tab in the back. We can slide this down. And there's your mechanical zoom. 
we can stop it right there. As you can see, it's more zoomed in on the image. We can turn the light on. We can adjust the focus. So you can see it's a lot more sharper image right there. It's as easy as that. You just have a saved image right there. You take these, you go into archive. As you can see, here's the new images we just took, the two bitmaps and the one PDF. It comes with all these folders already in there. You can change them, you can get rid of them, you can rename them to whatever you want, but it just makes it so easy to organize all your images. You can put your videos in here, you can do that. You can add signatures, there's optical character recognition. You can use Dropbox, Picasa, and Evernote. They're integrated into the software right here. You got your stack, unstack features, delete, you want to export. Let's say we took a bitmap or a JPEG, you want to make it a PDF. You select it, you hit create PDF. Now you got a PDF copy of that same image. So this is a quick little rundown of the software. It's really easy to use. It's a great little camera. You can adjust your resolutions on it which you can't really do on too many cameras. Again, for the price, you really can't beat it. You can give us a call at 866-942-6273, or you can email us, sales at touchboards.com.